Health Watch is presented by UMass Memorial Healthcare. Here, caring for you. Welcome to Health Watch presented by UMass Memorial Healthcare. We're talking about domestic violence and the impact it has on children. How common is domestic violence? Can you share some statistics? So unfortunately, domestic violence is not an uncommon experience for many people. One in three women and even one in four men may experience intimate partner violence throughout their lifetime. And so when we're talking about that from the child perspective, that means that every year five million kids are witnessing domestic violence. Do many victims of abuse stay in relationships because of the children? Many of the victims do stay because of the kids. Many stay because of economic factors. We know that 98% of victims have some form of control being leveraged against them in terms of monetary control. Um, we know that victims stay for a variety of reasons, but oftentimes they're staying because they're trying to do the best for others, not necessarily what's the best for them. What are some of the common behaviors for children who have witnessed domestic violence? We can see a variety of behaviors. We can see behaviors from early on. People often say, well, the baby doesn't know. But we can see it in babies. We can see babies who kind of shut down, who are not exploring their environment, not developing the way they should. As kids get older, we see sleep difficulties. We see behavior changes in terms of increased aggression, um, increased difficulty with schoolwork. Sometimes these kids get misidentified as having ADHD. And as kids get older, older kids will have often difficulty with other relationships with adults and kids. Are there hotlines specific to helping children? Yeah, so the hotlines, we have Daybreak, which is a fabulous program here in Worcester through the YWCA, and people can call that program. Um, but what they have access to are all the resources that we have now developed in Worcester for helping kids who've been exposed to these types of traumas.